What's up my crypto legends? You might be thinking to yourself, is this a huge, massive bull flag consolidation and we're gonna break through in the coming days above $31,000 or is this it? Has this just been a massive double top scenario and we are going to get into a massive correction in the coming days? Well, of course, we'll be taking a look at the lower time frames to take a look at those levels, to take a look at Elliott Wave Theory and see what makes more sense, guys, and where we can take advantage in our next trading scenarios. So make sure to stay tuned. Hi there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. Let's dive in here straight into the chart, guys, because what is this? Is this a consolidation bull flag? And we're going to blast through here the highs of April, finally, with a massive move to the upside. Or is this ready for a deeper corrective move, even going to $29,000 range or even slightly lower? Well, this is what we're going to talk about, of course. But first of all, let's understand where we are on the higher time frames. So for me, doing a bit of Elliott wave count theory, for me, I see this as the first wave. This is an ABC flat creed in the second one and this is the third one. Fourth one right over here, okay, not even hitting the first wave right there. And we are inside of the fifth wave already. Will this fifth wave have massive impulsive moves in the next coming days, even a couple of weeks after this potential cool off consolidation? Very much possible, guys. There is a possibility that we have a last explosive fifth wave for this massive bear market rally that we've had for the last few months. And maybe it's going to be the end, okay, of this rally before we get a deep correction. It's just we, we need to know that it is a possibility, of course. Short term, right, okay, we're gonna take a look at the short term and the possible correction is very, very possible. First of all, let's understand, okay, why this zone is so important. Why did we get resistance here back in April? Well, we did have May of 2022 large consolidation. If we do get the fixed volume profile, just before leaving the range here, we left a really high volume node. And this is where we got resistance back in April of this year, around about that $30,000, $31,000 range, as you can see on the chart. So right now, we've had the explosive breakout of the descending wedge, and the target is right over here at the highs. And now the price action has created a kind of a failed breakout, right, where we have been testing the highs. And here in the Legends Trading community, of course, we did manage to short that level. A lot of people, okay, from the Legends Trading community did manage to short that resistance zone, okay? If we do take a look at the money shots here, a lot of the people did manage to get into that short position. I could see Marcel taking most of the profits at 31,154, the entry price, exit price, very early this morning, just below $30,000 when we did get this small little drop. So over a thousand dollar drop here, getting into the short position, recognizing the entry point. Let me just explain that right away that was provided here in the Legends Trading community. We were getting that resistance, okay, of the daily level and we had another potential entry. I did some people, see some people getting in, okay, not many because, you know, this did happen six o'clock in the morning Central European time. But we explained that scenario, the April high here at $31.50 range approximately, okay? getting the back test, okay, after creating that failed breakout. A lot of the legends, though, managed to get into a short position exactly at this zone, where we recognized that daily level from May of 2022 that was untapped, and we tapped the level. We got a deep reaction here, as you can see, major drop, and this bounce over here was the moment to take that informed decision of getting into the short trade, okay? And a lot of the legends, of course, did manage to get into the short with a stop loss above the high, and of course, profiting from this major short position here. So right now, zooming out here on the one hourly time frame, let's understand a little bit of the structure, okay, guys? Because what we do have here, talked about on the latest video is, you know, already these kind of five waves to the upside, or is this still the fourth wave? And I'm gonna explain how this could still be the fourth wave. And we're gonna have a fifth explosive wave still, okay? However, we don't really care because we are day traders. If we can turn day trades into swing trades, then absolutely, we will do that, okay? I'll be showing you, okay, the latest trade scenarios from the Legends Trading community from the videos. Now, this second corrective wave right there, okay, managing to break the resistance of the descending wedge, creating this massive third wave. 
this could be the third wave and this the fourth and this the fifth okay very much a possibility and now what is going to happen is that we are entering into a much larger abc corrective move okay it's very much possible where we could get beneath the fourth wave slightly to hit the big major support levels okay we need to know that this is a possibility this would be the lower time frame bearish case scenario where we're not going to get above thirty-one thousand dollar high just yet okay and we're going to start you know this corrective move that we're having you know to go slightly deeper now, why would I would be bullish as soon as we get beneath the fourth wave here, okay? Uh, finishing that ABC kind of structure. Well, basically it's because where this is where we have the strongest support levels. Why the strongest support levels, all right? In between 28,800 and 29,200, we got the monthly level, a huge monthly level where we have three months, okay, closing and opening, all right? We're just gonna share that here right away with, a, with the community. If we go to the monthly chart, okay, we can see that monthly close and open at that range over here okay as you can see it's two months sorry close and open right there very strong level it did provide a little bit of resistance when we were having the breakout but overall you know it smashed through that level we had a little bit of a reaction on the lower time frames as you can see right over here so we were tapping here with the wick right there get a small little reaction finally breaking out from this zone so if we were to come down to that zone over there I think it's likely to provide some kind of support. This is the $29,000 range, but not only because of the monthly level, if we do zoom out on the four hourly chart, okay, and take a look at this entire zone over here with the fixed volume profile over here, as you can see, the value area high is slightly beneath that zone here, be below the monthly, okay? that zone should be providing some good support. We've got the monthly value area high, and we also do have a small little naked point of control. What naked point of control? Well, basically from this consolidation that we did have, okay, back on the 21st of June, right? We had a nice small little consolidation of several hours that left a high volume node, which is exactly here at the 28,800. So very interesting zone over here to potentially get a really nice bounce, okay? Now what is forming here on, uh, let's talk about the extreme bullish case scenario, right? Where there is a possibility that we are still inside of the fourth wave and we are gonna create a fifth wave. How can we be still in the fourth wave? We're basically creating a kind of an ABC flat and I would expect the price to dip beneath this level, all right? To have extremely bullish reaction. Now, if we were to dip beneath this level and create a failed breakout, right, basically a swing failure pattern, then this would be confirming this possible A, B, C flat scenario, okay? So it is very much a possibility that I am paying attention here with the Legends Trading community. And this doesn't matter, guys. Technical analysis doesn't is not the same as trading. We need to be ready for those potential scenarios. I can see some people in the legend trading scenario and uh, the legend trading community getting into a short position right over here. That was mentioned just uh, about an hour ago. I'll explain that right away in this episode. So what I'm looking for here, if this were to be still part of the fourth wave, all right, and this was not the fifth wave, okay, it was. Um, an A corrective wave here to the upside. So basically, sorry, a B corrective wave. So um, what we're looking for here is um, basically this being the A right there, this being the B, right? And then a C coming all the way down to tap beneath A. It's very much a possibility. And then we're gonna get that fifth wave up, guys, okay? So I'm paying close attention to see how are we going to hit that A wave, all right? How are we gonna dip beneath it? Is it gonna be an explosive move down? If it is going to be an explosive move down, if we were to get that movement down, okay guys, then of course I am looking in between the valley area high from the entire range in between March till today, that naked point of control from this zone and the monthly. That is the zone where I am looking for a possible reaction, okay? If we do take a look at Fibonacci retracement, all right, from the pivot low of the second wave to the high, if this were to be all right, still the third wave high, okay, and this is um, basically just an ABC flat. Well, we are looking for that 50% Fibonacci, okay, so we, you would get the high of the level. 50% Fibonacci is at 28,825. 
So there is a possibility of this being the fourth wave. You're retracing to the 50% Fibonacci and you've got all of these major levels, all right, that have the confluence looking for that possible bounce. Something curious also with this current price action. So that is another scenario, guys. So it doesn't mean that, okay, we're shorting here because you're saying that we're going lower. No, it's just possible wave scenarios, all right? And we need to react at this price action to see if we are going to enter a trade with very good risk management, nothing else. So it's, you know, technical analysis is, you know, a tenth of trading in my opinion, right? Um, so you just need to recognize the levels and how to get in and get out, okay, nicely without getting wrecked, uh, basically. So that is a scenario. That is a possible scenario, of course. And now what I want to take a look at here is, um, you know, that there is an interesting structure getting alley wave theory out of the way is we basically have here the higher lows right over here, right? We're kind of a, forming a higher low support level at this moment, this low created this morning. And it's interesting how this structure, right? We had the movement up there. We have a higher low right there. We have a movement up here, right? Then we got this low hit. And now we're potentially going to create, you know, another lower high. So this right over here very much looks like a very dodgy uh, head and shoulder scenario, right? But it's definitely possible. If we were to lose this low over here, uh, in the next coming hours, we could get a pretty aggressive drop, okay? We just need to be aware of that possibility. So would I trade this, you know, movement down and then up and then short? Uh, it would have to be very, very clear, high volume. We'll be taking a look at this at the Legends Trading Community, but this is not one of my favorite uh, patterns to, to short. What I would be looking for here is the bounce from the this range, okay? The possible bounce of this range if we were to get that you know, this pattern playing out here. Obviously not the not the favorite right pattern here uh, for me to trade at, but basically you would get that movement here to that beneath $29,000 as a target and then have the potential move down, okay? So I would just be looking for the consolidation here to get into an epic long position. Uh, if I get into any short positions, of course, this is not basically uh, a pattern that I would trade, okay? We trade differently here in the Legends trading community. And the latest trading scenario that I was talking about, okay, just um, about a couple of hours ago, is basically getting the, a short position here at the $30,600 range. And why was that a good shorting opportunity? Uh, well, basically, I'm gonna go right away, okay, uh, and, and explain that scenario. You know, why some of the legends did manage to short here at this zone. Uh, and I was basically sharing the analysis of, hey, this is actually resistance. This was the one of the best shorting opportunities, but this happened at six o'clock in the morning. I missed out on that short. But that was great. It was the April high back test after the swing failure pattern here getting rejected. And from the pivot high to the pivot low, you were hitting the 618 level. So very similar scenario here. From this pivot high, okay, to this pivot low, you are hitting also the 618 Fibonacci right there. Absolutely golden, right? Bang, hitting the level and getting that small little pullback. Something curious about this as well is that you are hitting the resistance from a descending channel scenario, as you can see right over here you have kind of a channel scenario where you're getting bounced from support here, bounce, bounce. You didn't, you didn't touch it right there, but you're getting resistance, resistance, resistance right over here. So not only that, you're getting resistance from lower high trend line. And when we do take a look at the volume profile from this major consolidation, well, it's basically hitting a very high volume node, as you can see, bounce right there here, from this zone, high volume node, and then you're getting rejected from a high volume node. So we're talking about all of these different confluence levels. In the Legends trading community, of course, talking about, okay, the possible trading setups, all right, that we do have. We've got resistance zones, support levels, and of course, some people actually jumping into that shorting trade scenario. This was talked about just a few hours ago, recognizing the resistance here with the high volume node, lower high resistance trend line, and there is a possibility in getting a drop. Already people jumping 
dipping into that short position from that range and already taking some profits. Of course, it's always good to hold some of that position being defensive just in case we are gonna get another leg down. I am happy to announce that I've got someone here, a coach that is providing technical analysis every single day, which is Sam. So Sam has joined here as a coach. He's been sharing incredible technical analysis and I've got him on board, okay? The latest one has been this Gartley pattern, all right, that he was sharing yesterday for that potential bounce. He really likes harmonic patterns. So getting that bounce here from that $29,930,000 $30, range, which is basically this harmonic right over here, just tapping that level very, very nicely here at 7.8, as you can see, 7.8 Fibonacci level and getting the bounce already hitting the first take profit one, of course, which is the 6.18 Fibonacci from the C point to the D point. So he is joining as well, providing technical analysis and those potential setups. All right, so make sure to join the Legends Trading community if you want me and Sam, of course providing daily analysis and possibilities here and trading setups right for the price of Bitcoin. And please do not forget that, of course, we do have the World Series of Trading, all right, coming very soon. It's going to be in the next coming days, all right, and I'm going to be a team leader. And out of 460 teams last year, we were ranked 20 most of the competition. So we do have definitely a chance to at least be in the top 10, right, where that prize pool of $8 million is going to be distributed during the team members, all right? So make sure to join my team. If you haven't got a Bybit account, guys, make sure to sign up because we are very excited. And if you wanna join the Legends Trading community where we're gonna be extremely active with our trading setups, you know the deal. You got the link down below, don't miss out. And not much more to be shared here, guys. There is a possibility, all right? Let's talk about the possible setups that could happen here. If we were not going to get a rejection here and come back down here to test these lows or the lows of the channel and we suddenly break out from this range, there is a possibility that we are going to test these highs again. We're just going to have to be paying attention in the Legends Trading community on how we react at this zone. Will it be a failed breakout? We just have to pay attention because there could be a shortening opportunity. On the other side, we might just blast off from this zone and test the highs that we created here on the 23rd of June and then get the rejection from that level or blast off. So we need to check that reaction again at that zone, of course. If we do get all the way up there, I would expect the price to create a pretty significant higher high here, okay? The next major resistance zone, guys, is a daily level that I do not have marked up here on this chart. Where is it? It is right over here from May. As you can see, it's an untapped daily level. It's a close and open that was not tapped with this move up. So if we do mark that level, all right, right over here, we do have that daily level that should be providing some significant resistance if we do zoom in here, if we were to get that leg up, okay? Very, very possible that if we do break these highs, we will be getting rejected from that daily level and creating a kind of three peaks here, three drive pattern, uh, or a kind of a distribution, okay? So we just need to be paying close attention to that possibility, right? We react to the levels, guys. We do not uh, give signals. We wait patiently to see what kind of a reaction we are getting at certain levels. So to the upside, you know, definitely paying attention to this high and to this high to see how the market and how the price action is going to move to the upside to take those informed decisions. Or we either get the breakdown and what we are in here is how this low is going to be hit to see if it's worth to get into the long position as it is going to be the support of the lower high trend line here and create that fake out. If it is that is going to be the case, we're looking for a long. If not, if we break that level and be very aggressive, this is the level where we want the consolidation, that $29,000 range, where we'll be looking at potential setups with good risk management to finally get into that long position to have that continuation to the upside. Not much more to be said, guys. I am still high time, uh, time frame bullish. Of course, I very much know that we could get a pretty decent corrective move after this massive price action that we've had for the last week. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.